Cotton mouth? You yeah. know how some people talk about cotton mouth? Yeah. That can also happen to your vagina. Really? So when you get your vagina high, you have to be aware that, that it might dry up. Yeah. Yeah. You get cotton vagina. That's good to know. Hi guys, welcome to Open Session. My name is Ali Weiss and today we are talking about sex and cannabis. My guest is Dr. Carlin Costa, a sexologist and psychotherapist who knows how to get the best of both worlds. This should be fun. Hello, Dr. Costa. Hi, Ali. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And we have some audience questions that we're going to answer. If I'm so excited. Let's do it. You ready for your first question? I'm ready. Anticipation. Okay. How can cannabis help me spice up my solo sex life? I really feel people need to talk about masturbation more. Talk to me about yeah, it. Okay. Come on, come right. on. So when you orgasm, you release an endocannabinoid, so something that's already in your body, 2-AG. So when we ingest CBD, it mimics 2-AG in our bodies, which is actually responsible for blood flow dilation in our bodies. So that filling of the blood, that blossoming that we experience. Awesome. Right? That's why that's happening. Using a lube can actually directly impact your body. So when you use the lube, is it just a localized high then? Yes. Okay. Yes, it totally is. The effects on your entire kind of body and psyche are minimal, right? Versus smoking, really, um, you feel it, right? You feel it in your head. Everywhere. You feel it in your body. You feel it everywhere, right? How can I talk to my partner so they don't judge me for wanting to integrate cannabis into our sex life? The idea behind negotiating cannabis use with your partner is all about communicating your intention, right? So why is it that you are wanting to bring cannabis not only into your life, but into your bedroom? Communicate that to your partner in a calm way, right? Where you're both feeling good, not as you're about to have sex, right? Before you right. have sex, right? So you want to talk about consumption method, mm -hmm. you want to talk about dosage, and I want to talk about consent. If you are using cannabis, like you're ingesting it or consuming it uh, for yourself, then that's one thing, right? right? But if you are using it topically as an allude, for example, right? You always want to make sure you have consent from your partner. Consent is like, not only is it hot, but it's important. The, the most. The most. The most. The most important. The center of the universe, <laughs> most important. <laughs> I've heard that cannabis interacts in a unique way with some hormones. Is that true? It's so true. It's like the secret. There's two different genders of the plant, right? There's a male plant, and then there's a female plant. The male plant is like the hemp plant, right? Mm -hmm. That's how we make textiles, rope. The female plant, though, is what we consider like the cannabis that you consume, right? So the cannabis that you smoke, that you vape, that you use topically, all the different ways. When women consume it, it actually has a unique impact on our bodies. Oh, wow. And the key is estrogen. The higher the estrogen, the lower the tolerance. The lower the estrogen, the higher the tolerance. Interesting. And so that's why it's really important, especially if you're just getting into cannabis, to actually keep a cannabis journal. Because if you keep a cannabis journal, kind of like you have like a menstrual cycle app. Right, right, right. 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 Like you have an app, yeah, right? Everybody's yeah, yeah, everyone has an everyone app. Everyone needs to have an app. Well, yeah, we app. can't assume that everybody that's has true. an app. But they need to get one. If get an app. Thank you for blessing us with your knowledge and for approaching these topics in such a warm and accessible way. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today, Ali. I had so much fun.